Welcome to the Porn Free, Shame Free podcast, produced by Caleb Micah Ministries. We hope God uses this resource to help you pursue freedom found only in Jesus. Well, hey, thanks for joining us today. <clears throat> Just real, I'm always really excited to talk about what it looks like to let Jesus meet us in the midst of our stuff, as opposed to trying to escape into other things that are going to you know, just produce a lot of harm. And if you've been following along with us with the BLAST acronym, different things that, you know, trip us up and can lead us um, to be more vulnerable to sexual temptation, what we're going to talk about today is this idea of stress. So another S in the BLAST acronym, stress. And so when I look at what's going on in our culture today, I think everyone is crazy stressed out. I mean, crazy stressed out. And so if you have to ask yourself the, like, the question, like, what is this stress coming from? Or, or what's this stress problem really all about? Well, here's what I will say. Stress is not a stress problem. Stress is a control problem. If I am stressed, it's probably because I don't feel like I'm in control and I want to be in control. And I think if we're all honest, we would agree on some level, we're all control freaks. Like we want to have some measure of control over our life, over our world. But the older I get, the less control I realize that we really have. And so if I'm stressed out, what I have to learn how to do is to release that control to the Lord. And it talks about that in the Old Testament, in the Bible, in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six. It says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. And so it's this idea that I need God to take control of the situation. I need to trust in him. I need to lean on him. But to do that, means I can't be in control. But you really have to ask yourself, why do I want to be in control? And I think the deeper thing even behind that is because I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what happens if I'm not in control. And so if you're, if you're, if you're following along, let's go all the way back up. These things that might trip us up to be more vulnerable to sexual temptation is stress. Well, stress is really not a stress problem. It's a control problem. It, control is really not the problem. It's a fear problem. It's I'm afraid. And when I'm afraid, like Proverbs 3 talks about, I've got to be able to trust in him. But the last thing I need when I'm feeling that is for someone to yell at me, preach at me, tell me to have more faith and to give more trust to God. What I actually need to demonstrate more trust and more faith is to know that I'm loved. If I know I'm loved, I can release control. And even in the midst of my stress, I can pause and stop and go, hey, what's really going on here? Yeah, it's because I'm trying to seize control. Hey, what do I really need to do here? I really need to put my trust in Jesus in regards to this thing. Well, ah, like, how do I do that? I don't try really hard. I ask Jesus to show me how much he loves me. Ephesians chapter three talks about the fact in the end of the chapter, it's how high, how long, how wide, how deep. Do we know the immeasurable love that God has for us? If we allow ourselves to experience that, He'll meet us in the midst of our fear, in the midst of our control, in the midst of our stress. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name that we would release control to you, that you would empower us to trust in you, and that you would help us to do that by showering us, flooding us, and overwhelming us with your love. And we say this in your name, amen.